Okay. We're leaving. We're leaving Abysmo. Da da da, Ishigami disappeared. So he set us up. He set us up. Uh. <laughs> think you're doing you trying to be a hero <laughs> there's something really funny about gesturing towards this giant jacked ninja what, what the fuck are you supposed to be external affairs we tried to find this ishigami who you claim was running the op no one knows where he is again but the group was called big dumb anime character the UN. next to get very get realistic or semi quasi realistic human is hilarious of other nations that is a very serious offense we're being sent to Guantanamo you will cease this operation immediately Oh man, the texture on his jacket. You so called fuck? ninja are ghosts of a forgotten age. These are different times with different rules. You don't belong here. But what about <laughs> the threat? Enough! Enough, I'm based off of Colonel Campbell. Now, as a long bad, as understand with terrible each other, textured you may uniform. Know. Look at that uniform, why is it waterproof? Take you back to Japan. That is, is it because he's on a boat? You're dismissed. No, I don't want to get my uniform damp. I I'm gonna waterproof everything, including dismissed. the berry. So they got chewed out by a guy who, like, just appeared. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> about everything. No matter which way Ryu is facing, his what scarf he must going? fly backwards. He, do you think he walks around this boat going, well, where's the backdraft? Um, ah, here, this is the best place to be. Oh, yeah, I hope Cliff is safe. You can't give up hope. You have to be strong for Kana. You have to be strong for Kana. The truth is, where is Kana? Kana isn't my real daughter. <laughs> my sister married Cliff's brother, and. Oh, no. No, they had to walk it back. There was an accident. My sister and her husband. Don't worry, Ryu. I don't actually. I'm not really a single mum. So I took her. Don't worry. I'm not just. I'm not like. <laughs> I'm just looking after her. I'm totally 100% single. Oh, and I'm taking my top off. Oh. <laughs> No. Things like that. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do with you? Stop telling I'm random so men I flirt very, with very that so they can be my daddy. I just <laughs> never thought of being a father. I'm touched. I just never thought hey, about that. I'm gonna stroke this here. child's face with my tumorous. Oh, fuck off, Cliff! <laughs> what was that wave? That's a I'm monster so hunter okay. wave. I was in the hold when we were attacked. I just kept hidden in there. How's Kana? She's fine. Whenever the main antagonist is on screen, I disappear. It's not suspicious at all. Check out my ugly beanie. Did you hear anything about Ishigami? No, it was just like you said. Ishigami's vanished. First, we need to get home and request backup. Again. HQ might have news about Ishigami. At any rate, we can't do anything else here. I wonder. It was never real at all. Whatever it is, it doesn't make any sense. Something's up. Hayabusa. I really don't like Cliff. I must return to I don't think I'm supposed to. <laughs> I must leave before your adoptive daughter gets any weird be my daddy problems again. <laughs> oh my god, that is like the most forced in like, you know, trying to appeal to like, don't worry guys, she's not had a kid of her own, she's just a good person who adopted them due to tragedy. It's different. She was never pregnant, she may never have ever had sex. And that's the most important thing, as we know from Japan, that like every woman is seemingly a virgin, but also incredibly attractive to ridiculous proportions. 
and is always permanently 21. I'll be back soon. The standards for these things, it's just like... Make you think, look, she's a single mum. Look, we're making new characters. No, fuck you, we have to walk it back. Walk it back. Don't want them to think she's impure or anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the whole be my daddy thing. Oh, cool. We're on the mountain again. Yo. Yo! <laughs> Go Fieri's back. I will borrow your soul, Lord of the Dark. Yeah! <laughs> That's the best way you could do that. Like, to be fair, this was the only time when I was, like, playing this. At first I was like, yo, we're getting that weapon back. That's good. I thought that that was dead and gone, you know? Because, like, he, at the end of 2, he just puts it here, so I was like, nice, great way to get the dual katanas back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he gives you the option of just using the one sword or the other sword or using both swords, but I'm just going to spam this shit because I love this weapon. The sleigh bells are jingling. My arm's not red, though. I use it too quickly. So good that I get this sword back. Yeah. Do some sick shit. Ow. We're just gonna throw projectiles at each other. Oh. <laughs> Comically large bomb. Oh man. <laughs> Why would he have a bomb that big? Aren't they the smoke bomb model as well? Oh. Just defend something that's not in this game. <laughs> Gotta get rid of you before you do bullshit again. Ah, uh, stay bell jingling. in a Crash Team Racing vid that uh, might be a little slower getting the rest of this LP out with Ninja Gaiden LP because I fucked up my uh, pointing finger on my left hand. Uh, long story. Turns out you can stab yourself with blunt things if you're really fucking dumb and it's one in the morning. Uh, I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, but anyway, obviously that's my L1 specifically button and I'm like, Ah, oh, that's fine, I can play all of these other games I'm playing right now. Fine. And then I'm like, ah, oh, shit, what's the one game that <clears throat> very much requires you to be mashing L1 or holding L1 a lot? Ninja Gaiden 3, out of all the things I'm playing right now. I think I can even play Devil May Cry without using the L1 all that much, except for popping the other trigger. Uh, and like, I'm playing Assassin's Creed off screen, the fourth one where you get to be a pirate and you don't really use L1 very often, so it's like, <laughs> except to shoot mortars, or aim mortars, on your ship, so I can get away with a lot of stuff, and I'm playing a Mega Drive collection and a load of like arcade classics and stuff at the moment, which don't have L1 mapped to anything, so... 
typically it's going to slow down this LP, which is already quite slow, because the recording sessions are getting to the point where my PS4 is like, why is this mission so long? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know why it has to be over an hour. <laughs> but it is, so there's already a lot of extra editing, splicing, and uh, bullshit that I have to do to get these out on time, so yeah, it's still going to be good. But to be fair, we're about halfway through the game, and these do the worst on my channel, so I don't think that it's going to upset very many people if I don't finish it. Whoa. <laughs> that guy just fly in the stratosphere a little bit. Let's follow Burb. Oh, or not. Anything else? I guess we're going this way. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Support is here. Do the double star dive, whatever it's called. Okay, next one. Oh. We're getting beaten up by four dudes, two at a time, that's embarrassing. Like, I know it's for gameplay purposes, but isn't it a little concerning? He's like, I am going to walk back to my village. And they drop him off near his village. He's walking back, and a hundred fucking enemy ninjas just appear out of the bushes and go, Yo, I'm gonna murder you! It's like, why are you so near to my village? <laughs> like, why didn't they drop the chopper closer by? They dropped the chopper in the village before, so, like, why are they. Mm, for gameplay reasons. For padding! to the right there. Just a weird geometry. I like that they up the models a little bit for these returning enemies. Uh, they look pretty good. Uh, I like the detailing. They're kind of more annoying to fight now because they block a lot more and it's just like, oh, they do a lot of shit and you're just like, oh. But you know, these dudes. Uh, are you dead? Oh yeah, we have to listen to the heartbeat. Oh, they're good. They healed me. Walk two steps. Walk three steps. Gonna be a ninja. No? Okay. Here? Yeah, it's a big open area. So, I got Ninja Gaiden confused for a little while because there were a lot of ninja games coming out for the Mega Drive. One of my friends used to have one that I thought was Ninja Gaiden. It was not Ninja Gaiden. It was Shinobi. And I recently got the Sega Mega Drive collection for PlayStation 4, and they have Shinobi 3 and Revenge of the Shinobi, and I think my friend had Shinobi 2 or something like that. So I was like, oh cool, it's like that game my friend used to have on his Mega Drive. Boy, oh, Jesus. <laughs> just go flying in the air, scoop him up. And I started playing it, and I was like, you know, Revenge of the Shinobi didn't age very well. A lot of flickering on this version of the game. Sprites aren't exciting, color scheme kind of drab. Not great, not very fun to play. Kind of feels like something I would probably get bored of. But Shinobi 3 has no reason to be as hype as it was when I just play tested it for fun when I was going through the whole Mega Drive collection. Um, yeah, there's, there's horseback riding sections, there's pretty interesting stuff you can do, it's 
pretty nice looking, there's good color range and depth, there's nice sprites, nice backgrounds. It's, and it's pretty fun and responsive. <laughs> um, honestly, <laughs> what is that spider guy doing to me? <laughs> I'll run around you in a circle. Uh, gonna be honest, really just bought the Mega Drive collection because they were like, oh, it's got Streets of Rage, Toe Jam and Earl, and Altered Beast, so that's why I've got that, but like, yeah, no, there's some shit on there that I'm like, yo, that's pretty cool. A lot of stuff that I'm like, isn't it weird that that's missing? Like, a lot of obvious omissions that you're like, okay, I get the, guess they couldn't get the license. But like, no Echo the Dolphin? Really? Like, everyone I knew, and I knew a few people in Mega Drives when I was a kid, had Streets of Rage 2, specifically 2. Uh, and Sonic the Hedgehog 1 or 2, or both, and Spinball. And, uh, some people had Shinobi, uh, one entry in the Shinobi series, and everyone I knew had Echo the Dolphin. Now don't get me wrong, everyone fucking hated F Echo the Dolphin, because it was just so fucking difficult to control, you had to constantly, like, zoom through levels to get the right jump distance off screen. I just annihilated that guy. And it was like pretty fucking awful to play and, you know, not my favorite thing in the world. But I was a bit like, why no Echo? You know, so maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something I had to do, I don't know. But honestly there's something the game said that made me go, wait, what? Like there's about 35 odd games on the system or something. I'm sure, I think. Oh, this section. Oh, why? Why? I hate this. This is infamous, I think, but it's also just like a great example of why did you make this? Because, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> uh, this slows down the LP to a crawl. I was having fun. Until they go, mandatory, horrible QTE, look everyone, we've ruined our own game. And look at that terrible fire texture, that literally is a square. Oh, oh thanks, so, oh, awesome. I'm trying to press the button, there we go. Oh, and I let go, I fucked up, I'm dead again. <laughs> Yay! Isn't this fun? <laughs> this section as well, you can see it could be cut out and there would be almost no difference to the game. Like, you know, like, no one is going, oh boy, I'm glad this horrible QTE is in this game. Yep. What's that, four times? I fucking hate this. This is the worst of the game so far. The rest of them, they were just like, hold on, press L1, R1. This one goes, do a load of bullshit at the same time. Oh, it's just horrible. Like, go left, go right, hold L1, R1. If you let go of them at the same time by accident, because you forgot where you were, because of all of this shit, you die. If you don't press circle fast enough, you die. If you don't do this, you die. If you do do this, you still die, because the game just felt like it, and it's just like, it's like attempt number six. I will just bitch about this section. I hate this section. This is the... Oh my god. Okay, fair. I just kind of went, what am I... Uh, and <laughs> died instantly. That's my fault. Okay. Yep. This time. Come on, lend me your energy, guys. No one. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, now I'm gonna die, because it went past me. Are you dead? Just let me climb the last couple of feet. It won't let me. Do I go that way? Do I go this way? Can I go over here? No, I can't. Okay. Choices don't matter. So yeah, um, the the trophies in 
Sega Mega Drive collection suggests that there's more games than I thought. Like, I thought there was only about 30 odd games. And it says play all 50, or like play 52 games. And you're like, as one of the trophies, and you're like, there's 52 games in this? <laughs> also, like half of them, or at least a good solid quarter of them, are RPGs that I booted up and went, oh yeah, I can't do those because I'm bad. Okay. Um, that I just booted up and I was like, oh, it's an RPG quits game. <laughs> and it's like, no offense, it's just I really don't care for RPGs of this timeline, of uh, this time period. Uh, and they're all high fantasy of like, oh, our village is under attack, oh, dragons, oh, high fantasy, isn't high fantasy fun? <laughs> and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> No offense, it's not my thing. I'm sure someone likes it though. But like, the Mega Drive collection, it has some video game names that you're like, man, that is a video game ass video game title, you know, like Super Thunder Blade. Or like, oh, Streets of Rage is pretty obvious too, and like, uh, Alien Storm, and like, I'm just sad I like. This couldn't be more of a video game ass video game kind of like title. And I'm like, it actually doesn't tell me anything about what the game is until I play it. And then I'm like, oh. I thought Super Thunderblade would be like Golden Axe or something, and it's a helicopter game. And I guess that makes sense, but like the font does not. And there are some games where you're like, oh, that sounds like that's gonna be a fun game, and then it's like, oh, oh, it's uh, another RPG. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this. <laughs> like, I just, I, I'm not in the mood to sit down and play it. Uh, like, I don't know if that era of RPGs were not hundreds of hours of dumb bullshit, but like, I'm just not in the mood. To invest time, large amounts of time, in an unheard of RPG that's like, hey guys, I don't even play Final Fantasy, man. It's just not my thing. Or it's not my thing until I start playing it, then it super is my thing, and then I have a problem. And then I'm an addict, and then I can't stop playing this dumb game, so it's for my own mental health. <laughs> I don't do that. Oh yeah, there's also Shadow Dancer, uh, which is another Shinobi style game. It's pretty good on there, but it's really fucking hard. You die in one hit on that collection, so you know. Again, if you like ninja shit, there's some stuff that is like it's a Mega Drive game, so you know, it's basically walk to the right and hit stuff and don't die. <laughs> you know? I was going through them and I was like, ah, I see, you know, like Mega Drive was very limited in what it could do. Kind of, it means that you get a lot of like side-scrolling platformers and side-scrolling beat-em-ups and sprite-based RPGs. And you know, no problem with that. And when it attempts 3D, you're like, oh my god, <laughs> like please stop. I actually prefer it in 2D. It's got enough that it was worth you buying it. Okay. In this area in 2, it was lush and green. In this version, it's horrible and grey and ashen and gritty, because of course it is. <laughs> it's just sapped all of the tone out of this like area, so it's just grey. And there's no reason for it to be grey. You'd think, oh yeah, it, oh. <laughs> he actually looked at me at the camera like, oh dude, the fuck. It's like, there's no reason, the village is, as uh, spoilers, the village is not on fire as we're traveling towards it. There's no dark times ahead, so why is it all grey? This just makes it unappealing to look at. I was just complaining about Sh Revenge of the Shinobi for having a washed out color palette, so I would say here, this has a washed out color palette and it does not make me enjoy the game more because it's edgy. It makes me think, wow, there's a lot of fucking grey, isn't there? 
same problem that like uh, Gears of War had after a while. That they kind of addressed in Gears of War 3 that no one ever really talks about, which is a lot of Gears of War 3 actually has a wider color palette than the other Gears games do because there's like beach segments and there's, you know, variety in areas. It's not just brown tunnels, which is most of two and most of one, which is brown city, brown tunnel. So, you know, they, they actually did some improvements, but... Man, that's a series that was really just locked to that era, wasn't it? Very definitive Gen 7 game, but like, you did that now, everyone would be like, oh, who gives a shit? <laughs> So these guys are back to the purple dudes that spam shit, and uh, they're a lot faster this time. They teleport faster, they move around faster, and as you can see they hit fireballs faster, but they're much less accurate and much less annoying as a result. Because in one, they just all, almost always hit, so you have to be really good with timing even though it's slower, because uh, they track a little. It's just all over the place. But then again, we're all all over the place. Everything just goes faster for with each game, but like... I should just be using my Ninpo, but I honestly don't want to ever see that message, so I'm just pissed off. Oh, well, gonna see it. Take a shot. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Why are you just rolling bombs down a hill? That's not your ninja way, is it? What is your bloodline technique? I roll bombs at people slowly. It's pretty lame. Oh, burb. No weapon for me today. Oh, and he just clipped out of existence. Cool. Uh, boulder. Scarab. Profit? <laughs> well, big open area. You can kind of see my problem. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. He can drive. As in, like, you know, Dante Virgil drive. He can drive, drive, overdrive. Yeah. Give Ryu Hayabusa a judgment cut and I am on board. Everyone should have a judgment cut. Everyone. You, watching this right now, should get a judgment cut. Just look under your chair. <laughs> That's the reason Jetstream Sam is sick, because he also has a similar mechanic, but it's not the same where he can just stop at any point in his um, combo and charge his blade and do like a big like explosion or like slash attack that hits multiple times. It's similar to a judgment cut but isn't a judgment cut, you know? And you're like, that's sick. Everyone should have this all of the time. And, like, I don't see the point in not giving it to people other than I guess if everyone had it, it would get old. But you're telling me stabbing people in various ways doesn't get old after a while. I mean, I'm running out of shit to say about this. <laughs> like, you can tell. I'm talking about Sega Classics for a while now. I mean, that's cool. Uh, the Steel on Bone shit's cool, but the game ironically does not tutorialize it enough, but will tell you the following message. And it's like, I would rather know how to more effectively do the Steel on Bone shit, because that's new and is a cool mechanic. A coolish mechanic. It gives you something to look at. Oh. No, my arms. Oh. this, when I was reviewing the thing to splice the thing together, I was like, oh jeez, this is one of the longer ones of this kind of segment, you know, the, uh, 
the group of death segment on the other side. You notice how I've also been walking basically through grey corridors to an open area, enemies pop out and think, oh, gotta do the combat again. And it's like, it doesn't know when to stop. It's like, yes, we get it, combat. And then when it does stop, it does a horrible QTE, which you'll fail six times because it's bad. And that's probably the biggest problem with free is that it's just too repetitive. Every time you think, oh man, this is going to be different, it's going to be good. I could change weapons a lot more to vary it up, but I like this weapon. I don't think that's what the problem is. I think the problem is it's just getting a bit like you mash the air, the square, 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 and the triangle, 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 and then you just get to the point where you're like, oh my god, another one of these, okay. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like you just get to the point where you're like, yeah, we get it. I do combo, I win. Yeah, look, look, I did another combo I obliterated a dude. That guy got me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see, like, it's just... E <laughs> ineffective explosions, doing nothing, guys comboing me through the explosion, like... Yeah, slashed. Ding ding ding. Yeah. Overdrive. Okay, he was already dead, but it's fine. It looks cool. Slashed. Impurred. Dead. Two more guys, and these guys are being the claw boys that love to make noise, so they're just kind of blocking up what I'm doing. Yeah, you're dead. Wore you down. It's like this gameplay is wearing me down. Ah, uh, it's like, don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with the fighting gameplay, it's just there's too much of it. And it's like, you know, no one really ever says that about, say, Bayonetta or, like, Devil May Cry. Like, there's just too much fighting, which suggests that while this gameplay is good, it's not, like, at the level of, like, those games, right? So you're not just thinking, wow, that was sick, I did all this cool shit. You're just thinking, like, oh, I've got to go stab a few more people, you know? I guess if you could style switch, or there was a style meter, you could switch weapons more easily, you would feel less like... Thing is, this game has one of the slowest weapon selection menus of most of the games. Well, actually, except for one. It's like, it really doesn't want you to just switch mid-combo, and it's like, that's the easiest way to make something way cooler. I'm just gonna limp down this grey hallway. Hey, look, guys, rock textures. Mmm. Oh, a tree. No, I couldn't reach the tree. Must. Touch. Grass. Oh. No. No grass for me. Game over. No, I'm turning into Frank from Hellraiser. <laughs> like what? Kinda, actually. You must not move. Healing. <laughs> oh, you. I forgot you existed, child. So you can start training us again. I feel much Thanks. better already, Sanji. <laughs> Sanji is the one who found you, Master Yu. So, oh, you saved me. 
It's good that you were survived in that side mission in two then. Doesn't show you how Sanji got you to the village. I guess he called for help. <laughs> he lifts this giant man on his child frame like, ah, I found you. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. If it glows with a soothing color, it must be doing something good. <laughs> I don't have time for your shit, Mamiji. I'm healing you. No, I'm busy. Being a dumbass. Look at my That's strut. Look Are at my okay? swagger. Sorry for scaring you. I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is my ninja way feeding the chickens. Chicken feed jutsu. You can thank Sanji for that. <laughs> Good work, chicken man. The chicken ninja is important. Well, by the way, they are reusing this area Mr. for like the third time, but it's the ninja okay. village, so I guess. But you think they would just change it a little bit more each time? It's there very that. little has changed. Thanks. Should, should I know this character? Thanks. It's nothing. That's a very strange bow, though. Yeah, don't... Yeah, girl, don't move your, like, mouth when you talk. Mm-mm, Watch closely. Oh, great. So, I can shoot two arrows at once now. I did a good job. Wow. Master Ryu, may you have victory in battle. Don't worry, I'm playing on easy mode, bud. Master Ryu, may you always play on easy mode. And, oh, Assassin's Creed children. <laughs> and may your enemies never get to hard mode. Do I know you? Yeah. It seems the Black Spider Clan is planning something again. Why is this old Japanese man got like the most American accent I've ever heard in my life? They can use the training. Thanks, Genjiro. I don't know who you are, Genjiro. I'm sorry, I didn't play DOA. But I'm bad at the video game. Oh no, it's Kato! I repost a child. Practicing. Obliterate technique. Just. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ah, uh, unnecessary I'm violence. I'm sorry to tell you this, Sanji. I feel like you'll be left as a hanging plot point to alleviate, to establish how tragic it is that I die at the end of this game. That's my guess. I don't know. I've never played this game. It'll be like, Sanji will be like, But Ryu, I wanted to train. And then he'll be like, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu will die, and Sanji will be over the corpse like Dante and Trish in Devil May Cry 1 and be like, I wanted to fill your dark soul with light! <laughs> so grossly in okay. Hey guys, remember the shrine maiden that appeared for five minutes in the first game? I'm still butthurt about that, but to be fair, Jesus Mamiji. Like, did you keep like? I think she got even thicker since the last game. So fucked up. What the hell? I've been training Ryu this way. to look even thicker and be more ridiculous. Mamiji easily best girl because you know she isn't like everything. That's what I mean by that. Like. Ayane is like, hey, look, I've got massive boobs, and I've got purple hair, and I've got a butterfly motif, and I've got, like, way too much going on at once. And it's like, calm the hell down. Like, Mamiji is like, I'm a thick person. <laughs> that 
isn't just everything at once. But then again, she's basically got the same body as Rachel, and I would say Rachel is the worst. So I think it's really just Asian palette swap Rachel. Maybe people are like, man, Rachel's like, I don't find her attractive in Japanese focus testing. And they were like, oh, okay, well, we'll just make Rachel, but make her Asian. <laughs> I just like a weapon. That's my excuse. But yeah, it's just like, really? How is that a ninja outfit? Well, it's not. But how is that a Shrine Maiden outfit? Oh, it's the worst. First trap characters. Didn't know you could do that. Oh, cool. <laughs> I knew you could do that. Oh my god, he teleported as I jumped. Oh, that's bad, bad. Please, some of you die. Just, there you go. Thank you. You are helping me. See, this time... I'm doing combat with someone else, so it's slightly varied. Ah, I got kicked. I didn't even see him. He was grey on grey on grey, and it just meant that I was like, wait, is the water kicking me? And that's the problem with a terribly narrow colour palette, is that you can't see what the fuck you're doing, and I find that out of all of the Ninja Gaiden games, this is the worst one for this. I am regularly getting hit by shit and I'm like, did a rock just hit me? Why am I getting stunned? Oh, I'm being comboed by a ninja and I guess, you know, they are supposed to be stealthy and camouflage, but like, you know, it's like if I'm losing my place amongst all of the bullshit on the screen because everything is black, grey, khaki or brown, then you can imagine that that isn't fun for gameplay. <laughs> Sadly, we do not play as Luigi at the moment. She just kind of hangs out. Can we get the rocket launcher guy and not shoot the guy on the floor? That feels a bit like punching downwards. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a little color, please. Uh, spider web, very strong. What do I do, Mimiji? Oh, there's someone chasing you. This this body, this guy. I think then the devil door will open. Uh, is he dead? Oh. I'm glad you have a fire magic spell. I don't have one. Or anything else that could break that spider web, apparently. It's a Mimiji only door. It's a really weird choice. Okay, whatever. Yeah, look, more grey. Mmm. At least it's easy to find the golden scarabs. It's the only colorful thing. Okay, more fighting these nondescript ninjas and losing place of where I am amongst them. Like, I'm having trouble. But, you know, it's cool. Ish, fine. Oh, <laughs> just dived into a grenade, so maybe it's not fine. I actually lost track of which one was hitting who now. It's like, am I dying? Oh, that wasn't me. And my eyesight's not good at the best of times. You shouldn't be testing it this way. <laughs> like, uh, 
I'm assuming after this mission, we have a Mimiji mission, because, you know, she's here, and it seems like about the right time. It's been a while since we did anything with anyone else, so... Oh, boo. What is this Disney villain character voice over here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm female skeleton. Race for will be mine. No, you will not rip me to pieces. This isn't my last resort. Mimiji, just kill them for me. What do I pay you for? <laughs> Mimiji's paid hourly. <laughs> she is jobbing. Uh, we almost done. I think we do this area and then uh, I want to say that that person that was yelling at us is probably a boss. Certain enemies have no impact at all when you hit them, and it's really distracting because other enemies, they like, is really visceral, and you can hear this slicing noise, and it's like really impactful. Other ones, you hit them, and it just feels like you are hitting them, they're not blocking, but they just, uh, they just kind of sit there and go da da da, and it's just like, they're just like, oh, ow, I guess. And it feels like your hits do nothing, but at random. It's not based off of enemy, it's just. Uh, this character just has no impact when you hit them for some reason. Just, I, I can't explain it, it's like the, the chonk when you hit them is just missing for certain enemies, like their chonk didn't load in. people with her thighs. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> now, well, that seemed OP. <laughs> oh. Boss fight? Jubileus? I wish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mash. Okay. Why? <laughs> you just said who will die first. Just say, like, hey. <laughs> The maiden shall die first. Who will die first? <laughs> like, what dialogue was this? Oh my god. And then you just got Mimiji nagging you for the rest of this thing, going, Hurry up, Ryu! Fight the endless waves of dudes! And you're like, oh, Yeah, we get it. Like, it's one of those where it's like the boss was too easy, so because it's just go here, hit her warts, hit her corns off of her. They should be paying me for doing this, I should be a dermatologist. Here come the pain, big god of war hand. Press square to stop the big pain hand coming down, and then fight dudes. Like, this would be better without the dudes. But then it would be too easy, right? Because she doesn't do anything. She just sits there for 10 minutes while you run around up and down her arm like an ant. Which surely would be really irritating. 
Like, imagine ants are having a small war on your forearm, and you're just sat there like, hey, I'll just let this happen for a bit, and then go, no, or missed. But imagine if the ant threw a fucking arrow at you every time you tried to slap it. Like, Here come the pain. I got a few hits in, now I have to fight dudes again. Yeah. <laughs> Can you spell slog? <laughs> maybe it's because I'm bad at the game. I don't know. Maybe these guys I'm supposed to be able to beat them in a minute and then go back. But like for me, because I'm shit at the game. <laughs> Uh, it's actually taking me like 5-10 minutes each time to fight these dudes, which are just a pain in my ass. And then I'm having to go back and like hit the thing 5 times and then it goes do it again. They're like, this is not fun. It's just repetitive unnecessarily. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe we'll find out. I don't know. It's me. Probably we won't find out, and I'll just be doing it wrong, like with the dino fight, because it's not clear at all, and I don't think there was the right way to beat that dinosaur. Ow. Okay, I got two hits in. Shoot the thing. Ignore that the birds keep clipping in and out of existence as I do that. Oh, I got about a fifth of her health bar down. Jeez. Oh, no, I'm not done with the slog yet. Oh, no, she does it in between. Good. Awesome. How do I avoid this? Oh, I don't. Cool. Mmm, health tax. Yay. Great. It actually glowed for a bit. It was like, nah, uh, uh, you gotta fight more dudes. Like, this kind of boss fight is very popular in Japanese character action games, and in God of War, so I should shut up, but like, in character action games, ah, oh, there we go. It allowed me to QTE my way out that time. Also, you may have noticed, bad QTE. She's looking at me like, no, stop climbing me. Yeah. You may have noticed this character design looks familiar, because it's the same character that you kill in, um, I think, same design anyway, that you kill in Ayana's side mission in 2. And now she's dead again. No, her arm is dead again. And again, big grey, foggy backdrop, a couple of birds for scale, not really anything to look at. Enemy is grey. Enemies are grey. Mimidi's not looking too colourful herself. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, look at this skybox. There is nothing. They could have put a village down there and small, so you could be like, look at the scale now. It's just like, fuck you, you're in the nightmare realm. Look at the... Look at the shadow realm fog. She has grass on her for some reason. Both of me. Ah, oh, she's spitballing at me. I got like two hits in and now I have to go back to fighting dudes. Where? Take a shot. Oh no, this is not fun. I'm not a big fan of your climbing. Oh shit, my cat was being crazy. Ah. Wait a second, there we go. Uh, 
I'm not a big fan of these. I am not a big fan. Now, now what? Now what? Oh. I was in control in that period of time. Okay, hit the cloth off, tentacle, yes. Ugh. I'm not a big fan of giant boss, you have to climb, big dumb QTE segment. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of this. Like, even in Devil May Cry 4, when they do this with the Savior statue, I'm just like. That's probably my least favorite fight of the game. I, I doubt I'm, like, being edgy and, like, contrarian. I think a lot of people don't like those fights. And I, like, to be honest, it's kind of the reason I don't go back and replay God of War games, because it's like, at the time I was playing them and I didn't really know any better. And then over time I was like, I really don't like these fights. I think the worst for me was the QTEs that I had to do when I was playing the PSP game, God of War, I think it was uh, Chains of Olympus? I, I can't remember. And you fight Atlas and some other goddess, and I forget who it is, and it's just like, I fucking hate that one so much. Like, it, just because the QTEs weren't very good, but you have to match L and R, and to stop her from killing you and then immediately stop mashing L and R because always you fail the next QT where it's square or like another face button. That was probably the time I went, nah, I don't like these. I know it's not a great example, but you know, that and fighting um, the savior. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really have fun fighting Jubileus either. Uh, probably not my favorite. Like, I didn't mind pretty much any of the fights in Bayonetta, but Jubileus was not my favorite by any means. This is obviously worse <laughs> than Jubileus, but like... Like, don't get me wrong, Big Boss is fine. Like, fighting uh, Eurozone is fine. He's big. Fighting Goliath is fine, he's big, uh, but you're not climbing him really at the same level. Or fighting, um, oh, another one came to my mind. What am I doing, Mimiji? Am I hitting this? Am I hitting you? Like, what do you want me to do here? Oh, okay. I guess I'm doing damage. Uh, yeah, you know, like, those are fine. The moment they this size, it's just like, why? Is that last one? No. Kill him, Amiji! Did you kill him? Okay, just, just combo. Just keep hit, just keep hit. This won't do anything. Oh no, I messed up, I wasted time. Ah, okay, it's fine. That doesn't look as good nearly as much as they thought it did. Oh, Mimiji's dead. And the the boss is so pleased with herself that she hit Mimiji. <laughs> oh, my big glowing weak point. Oh no. I shouldn't have put it in an obvious place. Now I fly away. Ah, good. We beat physics again. <laughs> Maybe just said, what the fuck was that? Shh. <laughs> Ooh, water shrine. He's blind now for some reason. The way the curse pulses tells me it has infested your entire body. How do I get rid of it? I do not know. Long ago, there was once a dragon ninja afflicted by a similar curse. In the end, 
he was swallowed by the darkness. Only his dragon sword remained. Thanks for just telling me this now. <laughs> that would have been helpful to know like ages ago. The souls of its countless victims. The sorcery cast upon you has caused that pollution to fester. And be absorbed into your form. Also should have told me that, like when I was being trained <laughs> and given a dragon sword. For all the deeds committed by the dragon clan. Yeah, so the dragon sword. You feel like he'd know this, right? There are still things I have to do. It's not an easy thing to live in the darkness. But there are times when we must face the darkness and overcome it. Ah. Vague prophesying, prophesizing, prophesier. Uh, well, <laughs> don't know when the next one will come out. Day five, only supposed to be seven days total. So, and the side missions, probably like 12 missions total, you're right. We're almost there. Look, I got the upgrade. Look, I got the upgrade. I'm doing it. Yay! Yay! 